Uh, another week. Some more GeoGuessr, folks. Hey, welcome back. You know what this is. Hobby Fist, GeoGuessr. Let's start the challenge. Four minutes, five rounds. Uh, again, as I seem to do quite a bit with these uh, videos, I have to do a little bit of house cleaning beforehand just because I'm getting real annoyed with myself and trying to actually get the sound levels right when I do these. Like, I don't touch anything on, on my end as far as the recording stuff, but for some reason, uh, I set the levels for everything I do, and it, some games I record at, audio level is perfectly fine. Other ones, like GeoGuessr for some reason, everything is peaking, blaring loud, it, it can be kind of obnoxious. It's frustrating, and I should, even the amount of times I actually sit beforehand recording, checking all the audio levels to make sure it works fine, I should have had this figured out by now. I don't. I'm sorry that it seems real uneven. I'm hoping to fix that. Hopefully this video um, is better. I'm going to find out once I finish this. And if it comes out, I think, satisfactory, you'll know because you're actually seeing it and I haven't deleted it yet. But uh, that aside here, I feel like we're in Brazil and it's just going to be a matter of me actually finding the stupid clicking close enough within this country to see exactly where we are because I don't know. What is this? Fashion store? Am I going to see a URL anywhere? Um, I said back this way. Um, yeah, whatever. I'll just go down to see if I can actually find a uh, Brazilian thing. Bar 20V. But anyway, I'm uh, recording this the day before the Super Bowl, and I know that I have a lot of people outside the U.S. who uh, watch these videos, and I'll just do this super, just to be clear. Super Bowl is a big thing here in the U.S. If you guys aren't aware of it, it's football, that's our thing. Not soccer, as we call it here. Not football, as you European people say it. But I don't know if you guys follow it, but I'm just going to uh, just discuss a thing that it popped in my head as of recently. Um, I don't really follow... Too many sports in other countries. Um, I've, I've heard of the big soccer teams, at least in... Uh, uh, ooh, what's this? I'm going... I don't want to go there. This is exactly where I do not... Thank you. Um, why is it... Sh why, can why are you refusing to show me this? Oh, 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 you did this on purpose. Let's see if I can't see it. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Like, I don't follow soccer that much, but I've heard of, like, Real Madrid, um, Barca, I think that's one of them, uh, Omnibus, but, uh, there's one team here who, in, in, uh, the NFL, which is what the Super Bowl is based out of as far as the league, it's the Patriots, and they, in the past, like, Christ, 18 years, they, they've been in the Super Bowl quite a number of times, up to the point where, uh, well, this is telling me something. I just can't make it out. This must be a way station of some sort. But they're... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me something. No, I'm not getting anything. Anyway, sorry. The... This one team is in it quite a lot. And what can happen is... At least here in the U.S. With most sports teams, when they win a lot, what happens is there's a backlash... People here are like, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so sick and tired of these people being in the Super Bowl. I want someone else, something. Because it's boring seeing the same team over and over again. That's the logic to it. All right, I'm just going to say, eh. I'm going to make guess here. Five. All right, I'll take it. Whatever. Uh, we have one team. It's uh, Philadelphia. They have not been in a very, maybe 10 years, 15 years. They haven't been there in a while. And then you got the Patriots, who pretty much have gone every year for the past almost 20 years. I mean, it's 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 less than that, but I don't want to sit here and figure out the math. And I don't really know if this is a, like a phenomenon with a lot of American teams. Like, I don't know if this same issue pops up with uh, foreign team, like foreign non-American countries. Excuse me, I should not be so ethnocentric. Um, where... Does soccer get sick and tired of the same people being in it all the time? Like or, or tennis? I mean, you hear Rafael Nadal. Like, I think he just won the 
Australian Open. He's got a lot of titles. He wins a lot. I don't hear people being sick and tired of hearing his name all the time. Or I don't really... Do, do they get tired of when... Was it Real Madrid that was winning all the time? Or was it Manchester United? Do people get sick of them always winning? Or they just kind of like see it as, okay, these guys are pretty good. It's It'll be a challenge if we actually end up beating these guys. Like, I don't know if it's such a... Only like really with American sports or like when the Lakers were winning all the time. In basketball, they're like, oh, I'm so sick of the Lakers winning someone else. I want to see something else. And then I also think about where's the threshold for that? Like, when does that actually become a thing? Is it after like two years of seeing them in 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 the uh, 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 championship game for whatever team they're playing? Like when the Rams in football. I'm sorry, I'm using a lot of football stuff. It's just the easiest examples I have of this because I kind of paid attention to it at the time. Of when when the Rams were in it quite a bit, they were terrible for a very long time, and then one year they came out of nowhere pretty much, and then I think either one it was in the Super Bowl, and everyone's like, hey, you know. Everyone felt good about that because it, it was the embodiment of the underdog who was terrible forever, and all of a sudden they just come out of nowhere and win. And they do it, like, impressive fashion. And everyone just feels good. They're like, yeah, good for you guys. You've been terrible for a while. You earned this, I guess you could say. And then, like, uh, the second year goes by, they're just as good. And when does, when does like, the general consens consensus shift from... All right, yeah, that's is it's great. They're keeping consistency here. They're is this gonna be Mexico again? I can't, I can't tell. Like it's after two years, they're like, yeah, okay, it's two years, good for you. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, come into focus. Oh, it's kilometers. I thought that was a road thing. Or is it after three years, like, okay, this is getting old, they just keep winning, I mean, you know, they just complete grumble. There, There's a window there where the, the, the amount of people not annoyed versus annoyed gets over uh, 50%. I, I, I think it's after about maybe two years, three years. Maybe it also depends on the amount of sports you actually... Um, consume on a daily basis like if you watch ESPN all the time which is our big cable sports net. I mean there's a lot of different sports channels or whatnot you could watch is this gonna be Mexico because last week I really messed up on a Mexican one and this could be I'm gonna click it because I haven't clicked anything yet and I got 20 seconds this is gonna be either I get the country right or this is South America Fuck if I, if I have any idea. Give me something here. But you got a bunch of water bottles here. Anyway, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm basically leaving it around. Oh, one second. We're going to find out how bad I was. Uh, fuck you, Brazil. Why can't you be consistent in your... I did not enjoy this. Uh, uh, whatever. Okay. Got something I forgot what I was talking about. I'm sure it wasn't important because fuck me, we're not going to get a very good score today. I really need to be able to understand when is it Spanish, when is it Portuguese. Because now I'm I'm all flustered when it comes to trying to... Like I thought I did. Obviously I didn't. Now I feel like this is going to be Scandinavia. Because again, they're these white house... Uh, the red houses with the white trim. Which is real ubiquitous for that part of the world. But maybe this is Canada? I need to see some vehicles and then I'll be able to better understand. Like, I could just look at... Okay, yeah, that's a Peugeot? That's a Citroën, I believe. Yep. I'm going to put over here. There's nothing I could do to actually get a decent score now. I mean, fucking Brazil. One day you look like Mexico, and it just throws me off for quite a while. This says something. I'll never... It says Malaysia. I'm just going to stick with that. But just to wrap up the sports thing, I'm just kind of curious if other countries have the same issue. Like, oh, I'm just so sick of the Paris Alouettes, or whatever you call them. They always win. I want to see... Um, Bordeaux bombers do better. I mean, 
I have no idea if those things exist. Or Bomers, if I'm going to try to pretend I'm French. Yeah, this is feeling like a... And I just need a flag. That's a Saab and a Volvo. Those are two Swedish guns. Well, I don't know if... Uh, I think Saab doesn't exist anymore. I think the story I heard with that, I could be wrong on this, is... Uh, I think I was... Yeah, this is definitely... I feel like this is... But what country? That is a old Volvo. Volvo, Volvo, Volvo. Anyway, I heard that Saab, one of the things they were big, well-known for, or, uh, it's just, like, quality as far as cars go. Is this a flagpole? It's... Okay, yeah, that's Sweden. Okay. We're near a body of water. I'm gonna say we're down here. Just cuz. Oh, okay. Like, they were well-known for making just quality. That was kind of, like, their thing. And I guess... The market kind of turned bad, but they would not compromise on their quality. And I'm really horribly paraphrasing this. I think it was on Top Gear. So, I mean, grain of salt with that, too. If I don't know how. Smart by Garden. Smart Garden. Ah, see, I'm learning. Um, Circus Maximum. Okay. I like. Ah, anyway, they were looking to get. Bot, I believe, is how the story went. Like, GM, which is a American car company, or conglomerate, whatever you want to call it, was looking to buy them, but they did have a stipulation, if I remember correctly, where they're like, yeah, we'll take you guys as a con uh, as a company, but... Oh, is that Bowden? That is Bowden. Where's Yulia? Yulia. But you kind of have to compromise a bit on your quality and they just refuse to do so and they're like alright well we're just gonna cancel you. Uh, we're gonna say we're budlin. We're right there. I mean I I don't know why I'm trying so hard after I got such a terrible previous score but yeah okay 494 fantastic. Oh hello. Horrible photo time. But anyway they would not compromise in their quality, so they ended up actually uh, going under as a company, I believe. I mean, this is probably 10-year-old information at this point. It could be different now. But I know as a kid uh, in high school, some of the people I went to school with had one of the uh, real old Saab 900s, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. But they were just well-known because... They were basically tanks if you drove one. Like, uh, real, like, there was probably six to ten feet of car engine in, in front of your car. So, if you got in an accident, it was pretty well known that head on collision, you were totally fine because they had ten feet of pretty much solid metal to get through to get to you. Uh, that is not, that is a weird yield sign. That is not an American one. So now is this Australia or South Africa? Uh, real, t like, terrible photo quality usually is, is, can happen in Australia as well. But now I feel like this easily could be South, well, I've, had a terrible score because fuck you Brazil. Uh, yeah, that I believe that blurry blurness makes me feel like that's kind of the blue, and up there is the Union Jack, as the British lovely lovingly refer to it as. I I believe. I'll just put there. I mean, this is terrible, terrible quality. Um, uh, but yeah, sobs. Sorry. Oh. Carathul. Is that a... This is a train station, I believe. Why do I think there's there's no train here? It's, that's... It's just a sign for a thing. I mean, it's probably Carathul... Oh. Did quality get better, or am I just losing eyesight? Maybe a little bit of... One... Oh, glad. Ghoul... Ghoul goal? Well, let's... 
Let's do this for the next minute 30. As I talk about the Sobs again, they yeah, they were super durable, tanky-ass cars. Um, I did not have one. My first car I owned was a uh, 1980s... It was mid-80s, I believe. Uh, Plymouth Reliant K car that sat in this old lady's uh, driveway for pretty much its entirety. Like, it had, I think at the time, like, maybe 30,000 miles on it, which, when I got it, was the car was probably, like, 15 to 16 years old. That's crazy. It had that l low, like, small amount of miles on it for, for, uh, for a car that old, but... It was a good value I got it for. The only problem was there is drawback to a car that ends up sitting in a driveway for that long is rust becomes a big problem. And what happened one day as I was driving along the road, I started to notice that my alignment... I'm just going to click over here. I have no idea where the hell this is because this country's big. I started to notice that my alignment, which basically means the way the steering wheel, you know how it looks when it's at, like, um, centered, like, the, when you turn, it, you can tell it's turning because, it, whatever. So, it was, alright, I'll take it. So, anyway, I started to notice that where it was zeroed, I had to turn the steering wheel basically 90 degrees to have the car go straight. And I was like, this doesn't seem right. So... I drive a little bit farther, it gets a little worse, gets a little worse, and then I find like, okay, this is a little messed up. I don't think my car should be doing this, so I decide to pull over on the side of the road. In the exact moment I get off the side of the road, I hear it being clunk, and my car just kind of like slowly uh, screeches to a halt. And I was like, huh, this is weird. Okay, I, I start moving my steering wheel, and it moves pretty easily. And I get out, I look underneath the... Uh, front of the car and there's some fluid leaking out. I have no idea what it is. It's uh, sometimes you can tell what fluid it is by the uh, color it is, but it was dark enough in the day and I was on a dirt parking lot, I believe. It wasn't asphalt, so it kind of just absorbed into the ground and I wasn't able to tell what it was. All right, this is a dead end. So I ended up going into the office that was the parking lot belonged to and I'm like, hey, can I Use your phone to call. My uh, car got busted. Broke down. Oh, God. Those... I think that's... Uh, that's like a central... This this could be... Check to here. I'm not completely convinced that this isn't... Can I go down that way? Yes, I can. I'm just trying to get out of here. So I call them like, hey, my car is busted. I can't move it. So they're like, all right, do this one thing. Um, I think he told me to pump the brakes. This is like the mechanic that was on the phone. He had probably a list of things he was going to go through to get the car to work. But everything he did didn't work. Like I would get out, move the wheels, pump the brakes, do everything he asked me to. Okay, I feel like maybe this is more up here now. I was doing everything he asked, but nothing was working. So. About two and a half hours later, I was I was sitting in this this spot. My car would not move. I went and bought a bunch of fluid. Like maybe he thought that I sprung a leak somewhere, and just to get like power steering fluid or some other thing. I forget exactly what it was to fill the car back up, just so I can get back home. Everything I did didn't work. So actually, what turned out as we got to okay, that's a normal Christian cross. It is not the Orthodox one. Um, it turns out what happened was the undercarriage, which is the steel frame that the entire car, like when you put the engine on, that's what rests on the car's like main frame. That's the thing that it, it, it's resting on. That thing, since it sat for so long, got super rusty and rusted right through. So what actually happened was the second I actually, uh, okay, we did loop around. That's the other side of that building, I believe. What actually ended up happening was... That rusted through, and my entire engine, like, snapped, and all the weight of the car was resting on the front tires. So if I actually stayed on the road any longer than I did, I would have ended up uh, screeching to a halt in the middle of uh, a pretty busy road, and people weren't paying. I would not have been able to move the car. 
it would have been stuck on the road and probably caused huge traffic issues or whatnot. But I was pretty lucky that I pulled off when I did. So, more of the story, don't buy a car. Or make sure to get it really looked at. Because if you buy a car with super, super, super low mileage for being a quite an old vehicle, there, it, there might be some rust issues. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere here with just that Svarts to sign. I think we're about to get to... Some road? No, this is this feels like rally racing. I would love to be on this road right now. It'd be so fun. Oh, that's a sign. Uh, whoa, arrow keys. Well, I I clicked middle of Sweden. Let's see where we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe maybe. Uh, um. Oh, right there, Svartsky. Vars Varvisk. Varviska, this is Litho Litho no, this is uh yeah, it is Lithuania. Okay. Fair enough. I'll give you four stars for that just because I haven't seen it before and now this might be either the close to or one of the worst, just because Oh, this this region of the world sometimes can look very similar depending on the time of day and maybe just happens to be climate of the region. It looked real dry and Mm. Excuse me, I said take a drink. Didn't look great. I could have done better, but eh. I kind of resigned myself that it was going to be terrible regardless of what I did here. I felt this was 50-50. And hey, that's the break sometimes as you play uh, GeoGuessr. Uh, I've just decided to roll with the punches, complain as much as I can, and move on. And uh, at least thank you guys for watching. I did appreciate this. And if you did like this, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, if you've got any pointers about maybe being able to tell one language over the other, by all means, let me know. Um, or even if you have some uh, stories about the different, uh, like, super popular, not maybe popular, super strong teams in other countries. And if you guys get sick of them like we do here, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, but for everyone here at Hobby Fist, we hope you uh, have a good day and come back to us on Wednesday as I... Hope to never have this horrible thing happen again. But anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.